Homicide, 1906. The case of 43-year-old William Pointer. William Pointer was convicted of the manslaughter of 52-year-old Caroline Elizabeth Lewin. He killed her on the 2nd of June, 1906. She was found dead in her bedroom with fractured ribs and a ruptured spleen at 7am on the Sunday. They had been living together until about a month earlier when she left, but three days before she was killed, she went back to him. They had been heard jangling, and a month earlier, Caroline Lewin had asked a neighbour to call the police for her and told her that William Pointer had told her that he would rip her up. On the Sunday morning at about 6.45am, William Pointer went to a neighbour's house and said, For God's sake, come. I've just found poor Carrie dead. When the neighbour went to his house, she found Caroline Lewin lying on the floor, dead on her back, with her knees up. When the neighbour met William Pointer on the landing, she said to him, You have killed my poor girl. You have murdered her. And said that William Pointer replied, I have never hurt a hair on her head. When the doctor examined Caroline Lewin, he said that he thought that her injury could have been caused by a kick to the side, but not a punch. He said that she had been dead for at least six hours when he found her. She had been in her nightdress with a blanket over her knees and a bundle of clothes under her head. He found a recent contused wound on the left side of her body and an old bruise on her abdomen. The post-mortem revealed that she had a fracture of her eighth rib at a point corresponding with the external wound. In her abdomen there was a quantity of blood with several large clots, with the source of the bleeding being a ruptured spleen, which was immediately underneath the fractured rib and external wound. It stated that the spleen was torn across and death was attributed to hemorrhage from rupture of the spleen, and that considerable force must have been applied to cause the rupture and fracture the rib. William Pointer was an old soldier and had been discharged with good character in 1895. Following his discharge, he had been employed in various jobs in South End, sometimes a labourer and sometimes a carman. Prior to the 1st of June 1906, he had been employed by the South End Corporation. William Pointer and Caroline Lewin had lived together at one Albert Cottage for a few years. There were three floors in the house, the ground floor having a living room, the first floor being occupied by Caroline Lewin's mother, whilst Caroline Lewin and William Pointer slept in the top room. On the 1st of June 1906, Caroline Lewin had been charring at the old Army and Navy pub and left at about 9pm. After that she went home and was described as perfectly sober. At 10pm she had a conversation with her mother, by which time William Pointer was said to have already gone to bed, and at 11pm she was seen running with a jug, apparently for the purpose of reaching a public house before it closed. Later during the night the mother said that she heard a noise from upstairs and then soon after said that William Pointer came to her door and asked her if Caroline Lewin had been drinking as she had been vomiting all over the bed. However, the mother said that Caroline Lewin had not been drinking. The mother said that she heard William Pointer go down the stairs three more times and that after that it was all quiet until about 6.45am when William Pointer went to the neighbours to call for help saying that Caroline Lewin was dead. William Pointer said that Caroline Lewin had gone to bed at 11.30pm and at the time she had appeared all right. He said that she had been in bed for about 20 minutes when she was sick and then said to him that he had better sleep downstairs on the sofa as she had been sick on the bed. He said that when he went back up at about 7am she was dead and said that he hadn't been up since coming downstairs. He denied quarrelling with her or assaulting her and said that he had not laid the clothing under her head. William Pointer said that Caroline Lewin had told him that she had fallen over a box at the Army and Navy pub the previous week and had complained of her side since. The doctor admitted that the injury could possibly have been caused by a fall on a box. When the judge summed up, he said that it appeared that the couple were quarrelsome and said that he doubted that the jury would come to the conclusion that Caroline Lewin had caused the injury to herself. The jury retired for five minutes and returned with a verdict of guilty of manslaughter. The judge said that there was no doubt that William Pointer had inflicted the injury that had caused Caroline Lewin's death, but added that it was not a case for extreme punishment, and William Pointer was sentenced to three months' hard labour. William Pointer then said, I thank you one and all. I am an innocent man. 
The judge then said, I don't think you are. I agree with the jury. 